I just, I, I was so close to being back to being in one pillow. And a preacher said that almost asked me. He said, I'm going to ask you a question. I just heard Lee Stone King's testimony about them uh, uh, bringing him when he died and God brought him back to life. But this preacher said, hey, what do you think God thinks about a man that he wouldn't do nothing for and he's still living for God? He said, it's easy to keep living for God when he does something for him. And that alone helped me get over it. So see, God will have somebody somewhere with a word that will help you. Uh, involve yourself in your church ministries. Uh, that's knocking doors. That's a ministry. Uh, you, that's a ministry. I assure you, Sister Jennifer, they would uh, give you opportunity to do something for God. Uh, there's many things that we can do. And, and I'll be honest with you. We will ask you to do some things. We will expect you to do it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> because your new doesn't restrict you. You, you may think, well, I, I'm not, I haven't been there for God long enough to do that, but that if I ask you to do it, you do it. Praise the Lord. And, and if you feel that God to do something, you can do it. One of the most important things God ever spoke to me was He told me if I would step out. When He told me to do something, if I would step out, that He would show me a result that would always cause my faith to increase. Now, the Lord tell you, you step out and lay hands on somebody and tell them something, and you do it. And a week or so later, you see it actually come to pass. It's easy to lay hands on the next fellow and tell you what God said. Lay hands on somebody that's sick, and they get up and get well, and you know God does. It. Yeah. It's easy to lay hands on the next sick, sick man. Accept responsibility. You are needed and important to the cause of Christ. Everything we do, everything you do around here is very important to Jesus Christ and to the ministry that goes on here. Just remember that. Everybody here is part of that ministry. Everybody. Uh, No matter what your gender is, your abilities, your financial status, there's always something you can do for God. Amen. Find your place and fill it well. He said he would never become uh, envious of someone else's talents or position. Now that's something you really need to pay attention to. Just because something such a mess can play that keyboard and sing, don't mean we need to get envious of it. Okay? It's all right if you wish you could sing like her and be as annoyed as her. Someday you may be able to. I don't know. That's between you and God. But don't be envious of her. She's not going to be envious of you, I promise you. Uh, and, and when you do this, God will open doors of opportunity for you to serve if you remain faithful. What other church is doing, don't criticize. And I mean, a lot of times you find people criticize somebody in church, what somebody in church is trying to do. And that's all. Sister Mary and Sister Amber did something tonight, and, and it could be, you could criticize it if you was that type of person. But they did it out of love and out of the goodness of their heart. And, uh, Praise the Lord. So don't ever envy nobody that does that. Uh, and it says here, support your local church through tithes and offerings and what have you. And 
when new people move into the community and want to make your church their church accept love and introduce them help them feel like they belong and are part of the church and the community let me tell you also and i don't have to because every one of you come here realize how we treated you we treat everybody else the same okay and you and the lord get along well I don't care who it is. Okay, I think I want to do I'm going to quit right there and next week we're going to finish this. And it is in your enjoyment. So is anybody, if you have any questions or if you have a subject that you would like for us to teach on, you may write it down, give it to Brother Stewart, and I'm not going to promise you what we're going to teach you on. We're going to teach as God moves. Now, you might write something down and Brother Stewart might tell me about it tonight, and God might say teach you on next Wednesday. And, uh, we even may, I don't know who he's appointed uh, to be connect this month. He may not appoint anybody yet. Ain't Mary. Okay. Well, Ain't Mary, we're going to let you do it. But after that, until we get through doing some of this teaching, the connect person will be me and Brother Stewart. Okay? And it's just for the purpose of teaching. And I'm going to tell all you old converts, don't lay home on Wednesday night. Because you, you, you're fooling yourself if you think you don't need this. That's right. You've heard me say at the start of this uh, uh, lesson that everybody needs to hear things repetitious in the Word of God and preaching. And, and uh, Brother Stewart and I both have preached the same sermons over at times. You might have changed it just a little bit, but you still got, I, I don't know about if we did it here. But Oh, you always get the same meaning out of it because that's what God wants us to relate. So, you need to come. I don't care who you are. It, whoever ain't here tonight needs to be here. Because we are church, we are whole, we are in unity. And, and, uh, I mean, it's, if you've got, if there's something that comes up, and I'm going to tell you all something else. From now on, I want you to call me if you ain't coming to church. All right. No more Jennifer's, no more Rose Stewart's. I got a, a, a number on that card. I mean, brother, that ain't a fuss at nobody. But it's just the principle that you call your pastor. You need to get friendly with talking to me. You don't need to be scared of me. I'm not going to bite anybody's head off. I know. But and we don't want to turn the people. It ain't good. But I want everybody in this church. And they, you ain't here tonight, but I will remind them when they come back. They're going on vacation. Make sure, and hey, y'all, think about what I'm thinking, Kate. Didn't we miss Sister Melissa tonight? John Michael? They get on that keyboard and then voices. But they don't, they don't vacation anymore. Pray for them that they get back without any problems. Okay? We hate to, I'd hate to know that something happened they, when they come back they couldn't play the guitar anymore. Okay. So pray for them. They need to be prayed for there. And if you go on vacation, we'll pray for them. Y'all better pray for me when I go. I'm going to it. We, let me tell y'all something. Taking this time out to teach will be beneficial to this church. Not just to you who don't know everything we teach you, 
but that this whole church will be beneficial to every saint of God in here. And every saint of God in here needs to be reminded of all these things we teach you. It's not that you're dumb, it's not that you're ignorant, it's just the fact that you just need to hear it. And, and maybe some of you might be hearing it for the first time for all I know. <laughs> but this church is beginning to grow, and it don't need to stop. Amen. We need to see people getting the Holy Ghost almost every week. You know what? The reason we have a revival set of uh, Sunday and Sunday night, the reason we got another dangerous gun, because I felt like God said to me, we have a revival, don't let it stop. Now, I'm, I'm going to beg you to, to give all you can and all of them because we have faith preaching. They don't come for nothing. They probably, some of them probably would. But I mean, we, the week after next, we got one coming.